Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to my let's play of Monsters University. I am in the Monsters University campus. And anyway, this isn't a playthrough of Monsters University, this is a playthrough of Disney Infinity, and I'm in Monsters University. This game is very confusing, it's a whole load uh, of Disney things all just sort of mashed together and stirred together inside of one big massive pot. And I'm in the, uh, I'm playing the, the Monsters University uh, ingredient. <laughs> There's a, a weird metaphor for you. And I think I found out where I've got to go, I was a little bit stuck in the last video, uh, which I'm kind of ashamed to say. Um, but yeah, I think this is, uh, this is just a new area that i got to go to. Let's see what this fella's got to say. Hey bro, this is a shortcut to Frat Row, but we only got enough screen cans to keep one gate open at a time. To make sure we don't leave your buds hanging off campus, the green light on the control box will give you the all clear. Cool. Okay, looks like we, we got a green light, so I guess it's all systems go. Can I, can I, can I ride my bike through? I had a bike here a second. Let me go summon a bike. Summon the holy bike. Come on, is it going to spawn in? Uh, there's, uh, there's a bike just on the other side over there. Okay, I, I guess I'll walk. I can't be bothered to, like, by the time it takes me to walk around the fence and get on the bike and ride it back round, uh, I'm sure I could have probably, like, ran to, to wherever it is I'm uh, trying to go anyway. So, uh, yeah, we're going to a new area. I've been actually amazed by how big, like, this is. Like, because this is just one of three in terms of um, Disney Infinity. Like, you get three play sets with it, and this is just one of them. And it's kind of been like its its own, like, whole massive game. And it looks like we've gone to a neighborhood. We've gone to, oh, it's like all the uh, the frat houses. So we've got, like, a whole another new area here. So we had, like, Monsters University. We had the Fear Tech place. Now we got here. And there's, like, the tower as well. This place is massive. And look how many missions there are. There's missions all over the place. And I love these really funky-looking cars with, like, um six wheels or whatever. <laughs> right, let's talk to this guy then. And let's see, uh, let's try and get some of these missions done. And um, there seems to be piles of trash all over the floor. Garbage. We're excited about the points we earned for Fear It Week that we threw a party. It was great, but now there's trash everywhere. This isn't going to impress anyone. Okay, well, I guess I got to go around and smack the trash. Uh, one down. Uh, is there going to be some more over here? Oh, is like, see how like, smelly it is. It was like flies coming out of it. Really? What did they have at the party? <laughs> like a load of just like rotten food or something? A load of banana skins? Right, well, what I might do is, while doing another mission, just be doing that at the same time. Uh, rather than going around just getting the trash, I can just sort of uh, get the garbage when I see it. So let's go talk to this lovely looking lady over here. Did she say that or was that me growling at her? Raw! House had a wild party last night and put banners all over the place. That's not going to earn us any tokens. What should we do? Um, go take the tokens down. Like, why, why wasn't I here yesterday? Yesterday sounds amazing. I should have been here for the party. I've just showed up, like, just after the party. And I just got to do the cleanup, you know? Like, normally, you have the party. And then, because you had the party, you then got to do the cleanup. But it's, like, a good thing. But then a bad thing. So it kind of evens itself out. I wasn't here for the party. So I miss out on all that fun. But I still got to come here and do all the cleaning up. <laughs> Old Mug and Sully here. He's got to go and do all the work. Right, okay, let's go and try and get rid of some of these banners. They've got Terry and Terry up at the top of our clock tower. Meet me over there so we can rescue them. To be fair, this is probably one of the most fun ways of cleaning up ever, like sliding over those, those like, lines above everything. And I don't know if there's a chest here I can open because I'm Sullivan. I think that allows me to unlock something. I've got a new toy. Fear Tech Paintball Enemy Pack. Uh, add colour to your combat. Ooh, jolly good. <laughs> That's also really awesome. Like, those things, you need to uh, use them as, like, a certain character. Like, say if I wasn't uh, Sullivan right now, and I was a different character, I wouldn't have been able to unlock that. And this is really cool, just going <laughs> sliding over to get rid of them. Is that them all done? Yeah, there we go. I managed to, to get rid of the posters. Oh, we're way behind, though. They're, like, almost 100 ahead of us. Since when did that happen? I thought I was doing really well. Right, let's get a move on. Let's get let's get my cleanup on. And it seemed to say that I can customise some of these buildings. Let's see let's see what I can do to it. Oh, I can change the walls and stuff. Um, oh, I can change it to, to whatever that is. It's a load of, like, weird glass. monster skulls. Uh, gloomy better. grooves. Uh... ROR house, not sure what that stands for. Sticker wall, dungeon stone, yucko something like that. Uh, Mike Ascent. <laughs> oh, I quite like that one. Uh, Square boring, creepy campus colours. Um, okay, quite a few boring ones. A nice pink banner. 
Um, oh, look, I can have like the pink. I can have the pink banner on as well as. Let, let's go for the. Um, I kind of like this one. There you go. Pink banners. Oh, I'm gonna need to change those skulls though. Uh, what about? Actually, what a pink. Oh, this can be just a really pinky, colourful one. Uh, what about just bricks, pink roof, and then pink banners? Oh, I like it. <laughs> I heart pink. It says on the top. This can this can be for all of the other uh, lady monsters. This is uh, where they all go and hang out. <laughs> I love pink. Oh, I might just go and customise all of them just um, as I go past them. But before I do that, uh, let's go talk to this person and uh, get myself another mission. Oh, they look very grumpy. Look how grumpy. Look at that grumpy face. Let's turn that frown upside down. There we go. <laughs> he's really happy when he smiles, but really grumpy otherwise. All right, let's see what he's got to say. Oh, he's crying. Oh, what's up? What's that? Those guys, G-R-R, -R, had a great party on the roof of their frat house. It was off the hook, but now one guy's afraid to climb down. Not gonna look good for M-U. Okay, I guess there's, there's a monster stuck on top of the roof. <laughs> I, I know what I'm gonna have to do. Because he's scared to go down, I'm going to have to climb up there and just throw him off the edge. I bet you anything that's what I'm going to have to do. How do I get on top of it then? How do I, how do I start my ascent? Oh, there's a um, a thingy over here. Oh look, there's um, there's a toy there. I get some some new toys. Oh, I, I get Monsters University building pack. I get a bunch of um, uh, Monsters University buildings from my toy box. That's awesome. All right, if I climb up here, can I grab onto that? Oh no, I missed. Yeah, if I climb up here, I should be able to to throw that fella off the roof. It's okay, don't worry. They've all got parachutes hidden in their back pocket, so uh, it's totally fine. I don't end up actually hurting any of them. Right, can I jump up this side? Here we go. And oh, look at him! Oh, look at the little fella. He looks like a little lampshade. <laughs> I think he has just got a lampshade on his head. All right, let's just help him very gently go and get down to the floor. So see if I can throw him on top of the pink house. Let's see what range I've got. Oh, it's close. It's close. Where is he? I can't even see him. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Oh, I don't think I've quite made it. Is he going to hit it? No, he's in front of it. I got him pretty far, though. I got him quite far across the street. I can't even see where he's gone to now. I think he might have disappeared because I uh, managed to complete the mission. Right, shall I, shall I customise this house, then? This one's kind of a, a bigger, spookier-looking one. Shall I go for a, a spooky house, shall I? What's this? Gloomy Grooves. Uh, no, it doesn't look that gloomy. Um, I could go for this one. Are, they, are these different to the last ones? I don't recognise these ones. Oh, I could go for Dungeon Stone. And then, um, okay, I, I need to know whether it's changing the wall. Oh, it says if it's changing the wall or what. Uh, so this is the roof. Uh, okay, that doesn't look very scary. There we go. That's a bit kind of spooky. And then we can go for, we have a banner as well anyway. We'll have a, a dark banner. There we go. Here's another house. Jock's rule. <laughs> okay, let's go do another mission. I still got the um the garbage mission to do. Yeah, the trap mi the trash mission. I've got, I've got a few of them. I think there's only five or something for me to get, so it shouldn't take too long. So uh, let me just go and get that one there. Oh, there we go. That was that was the final one. I'm whizzing through these. What's that? Was that like three missions I've done already? And I've only been here for like like under ten minutes. I'm doing amazing. Check me out. I might be able to, to get all of these done in this video if I'm really quick. And oh look, oh, this is there a point where I can change? Mike Wazowski is required for this challenge. Oh, I don't have him. I don't have that. I might have to get him. I, I want to be able to play as him. He's probably uh, one of my favourite characters out of um, uh, the Monsters, Inc. universe. Anyway, let's talk to this brown, cactusy looking fella. <laughs> Look at him bouncing up and down excitedly. What's he got to say to me? Hey, did you hear they're giving Fear It Week tokens for the best frat row? Neat, huh? We thought we could start by updating OK House. Uh, can you help? Uh, yeah, sure. Show me. Oh, so do I just have to, to decorate it, do you reckon? I just go and customise it. I think I can, I can just make it however I want it. Right, what should I go for this one? Oh, look, I can actually properly change the colour of it. Um, should I, should I try and make a... Can I change the colour of all of them? Oh, I can! I'm going to make a stampy house. Right, let's go for, like, orange. Um, okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. It's, like, orange and white. That's proper, like, stampy colours, that is. And right, what, should, what should I do for the roof, then? Um, can I, ch oh, I can change the colour of the roof as well. If I try and make that uh, orangey as I can, uh, I think that's probably about as orangey as I can go. Here we go. This is this is Stampy House now. <laughs> there we go. And I, got, I got a challenge for that. Like that, that's kind of what I was going around doing anyway. It just happened to to give me some bonuses for it. And what's this over here? Oh, there's another bike challenge. I've not really had a chance to do much bike riding, so uh, I'm not very good at it yet. But uh, if I go and try and find one of the um the bike places, then I should be able to to go and ride around with that. 
And look, like there's another green toy box thing up there. I don't think I can get on this roof. It just slides me off. I think I uh, might have to get it from the uh, the top of that roof over there. But I'm not going to worry about it uh, too much for now. Uh, where's one of the uh, the bike things? Is there one near the start? Like, I can see there's all ramps over there as well. So it does seem like uh, you are supposed to ride your bike around here. But uh, I can't see any of the... Um the little bike rack things. And look how many missions there are. They're all over the place. All right, I'll just talk to this guy here. And if I come across a bike place later on, I'll go do that. Right, lady, what's up? I think our frat bro is looking good. But there's no way we're going to win this thing without PNK House. Where is it anyway? Um, PNK House. Do you reckon I've got to make a house into PNK House? Uh, let me look at the mission log and tell us, ask it to, uh, to go where I need to go. Uh, think pink. Add PNK uh, to frat row. Okay, so um, I, I guess I just pick a house and make it uh, all PNK colours. So if I customise this one, um, there we go. PNK. I, I guess what uh, PNK means pink then, doesn't it? So PNK banners, um, flustered feathers roof, and then is there anything else pinky that I can do? Um... Like, I guess if I just, I guess if I just use any walls and then just make them pink coloured, would that count? Um, this is a bit of a weird one to go pink. I might go for stickers maybe, and then have a pink background. Will that count? Uh, that, that's kind of pinky there. Is this okay? Is that not a PNK house? Uh, it's not counting it, is it? Maybe this isn't what I'm supposed to do. Uh, I guess if I just read what it says, I don't think I've unlocked it yet. Uh, if you look at it, it says all of like the oh. Yeah, it says like all of the different names for them, uh, but none of them say PNK. Maybe I've got to go and find a um uh, a thingy first, one of the the red orb thingies before uh, I'm able to complete that challenge. And look in the sky, look at that! Look, there's there's all the the orbs to collect all really high up. Do you reckon I get like a jetpack or something? Maybe anything seems possible in this game. Anyway, let's talk to this uh, fella down here. The guy who looks a bit like a cheesy sponge, and uh, see what he's got to say to me. Oh, is this going to be a bike challenge? There's a jocks box there. Dude, guess which house is the best? Give up? It's a... Uh, oh yeah, jocks house. Now clear those crates so we can get our frat house looking awesome. <laughs> okay, so I guess I need to, to go around on my bike. I was kind of after a bike anyway. So this is uh, two birds with one stone. And right, let's see if I can uh, ride around better than I did in the last video. I kind of just failed off at like every opportunity in the last video. So uh, let's just try and do a bit better. I'm fine until I start trying to go fast and do tricks. Like if I ride around like this very gently and slowly, I do fine. But when I start trying to do any fancy moves, that's when, uh, that's when things get bad. Right, so let's just go around and break all of these crates while we're here. And there's so much stuff in this place, like, like, there's not that many buildings and that compared to the other places, but there's so many just, like, orbs, like, all over the place. It's awesome, though, like, it's gonna take ages to get them all, but I kind of like that. I always like collecting things in games, it's always good fun. Uh, there's another crate down here. Uh, do I have to get rid of these as well, like, these pallets? Oh, no, there we go, that counts as it being completed. All right, what I'm gonna do then... I'm going to head back over to here. Uh, remember I saw that mission? And uh, I'm going to go and try and do this this bike challenge and uh, see whether I can complete it. I think it was around here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. I should be able to do it now. Um, complete three laps around Frat Row on a bike. Three laps? That's quite a lot, actually. And this is only the um, the easy one as well. Is it not letting me do it? Oh, I thought I, thought I said to do it. I think because I, I rode off it. There we go. Launch challenge. Start. Are we off? There we are. Oh, we got a proper race course. Right, so even though it's only about racing, I need to try and do tricks as well because uh, when you do tricks, that's the thing that allows you to go faster. That's the thing that gives you a speed boost. Although, if I do do a lot of tricks, there's also a good chance I'm going to fall off. And uh, I don't know whether there's a proper time limit or what, but yeah, if I do this, there we go. I've got my, my speed up and this is actually really hard. <laughs> it's good fun though. I'm doing okay so far. Right, let's do a backflip. Woo! <laughs> Oh, this is really good fun, actually. Like, it's like a perfect track. Right, shut up. I'm trying to do a bike ride. I, I don't care about Terry and Terry. You've been going on about Terry and Terry for, like, the last few videos. And to be honest, it's driving me crazy. I've gone up to the tower in the last video. They weren't there. I want to ride my bike, and please just leave me alone and let me do it. Woohoo! <laughs> I love that trick. All he does is just point in a direction, and that's counted as a trick. And look at me weaving in and out. I'm actually doing okay. This is probably a pretty good practice for, um... Uh, yeah, being able to ride my BMX, seen as I did do uh, so incredibly awful in the last video. And do you think this is how you're supposed to get all of those, all of those orbs? Remember, like all the ones that I saw really high in the sky. Do you reckon there's some sort of ramp, or like maybe jump off a roof on a bike? Like you think that would uh, let you go quite a lot further? And I don't know. Do I have a time limit? 
Like, the time seems to be counting up rather than down, so maybe it's just uh, as quick as I can do it. Because there's normally three options. There's easy, medium, and hard, and, like, once you complete easy, you're allowed to do uh, medium, and then once you complete medium, you're allowed to do hard. But maybe it's just uh, depends on what time you get, you know? Like, I don't know, like, this is good fun, but if I had to do this three times in a row, I'd probably uh, start getting a bit bored of it, you know? Maybe it just uh, has, like, a stricter time limit once you've done it a few times. Anyway, I made it! One minute, 35 seconds. Best lap, 30 seconds. Not bad. Not too bad. Um, is, is that the end then, or is, if I do the challenge again, is it going to be um, harder? Um, difficult. Oh, oh, I don't think there is different difficulties. I think it's just you do it. So I think I've just completed the challenge. So well done me. Well, well done Sully, really. Right, what I'm going to do while I'm here, I'm going to see if I can get on top of this rather horrible building that I decorated. <laughs> Covered in stickers. And I'll see if I can get the, um, yeah, see if I can get this one here, the... Um, the the green one because these are these are the ones that you want to get and oh no I missed it and I broke a trash can as I fell down I'm supposed to be tidying this place I'm supposed to be trying to make the place look better and I'm still just smashing everything <laughs> look at that vulgar bright pink roof you know I suppose it's okay but uh, I don't know I don't know <laughs> I think it, in the uh, the context of the uh, the monsters universe and in the video game it's okay but uh, yeah I don't know whether I'd want that on top of my own house <laughs> right we probably i uh, got about time for uh, one more mission before the end of the video, so I'm going to try and complete it. I finally made some good progress. I finally uh, feel like I've ticked off a lot of boxes for uh, things to get done in this game. And, like, I'm not rushing. Like, there's no hurry. I'm, like, loving every second of it. But uh, it's always good at the end to feel like uh, you made some good progress. So who shall I speak to? There's a bunch of people over here. I might go for this, this green guy. He looks kind of shy in the background ah. over there. Let's see what they got to say. More crates? Really? Yeah, I don't know who put all these crates on our sorority's lawn, uh, but I don't like them. Get rid of them. I've just done that! I just got rid of all the crates, and now they've all just appeared again. Right, back on my bike. <laughs> I suppose it's another excuse to go around on my bike. Like, this pretty much, this whole area is just like a big, massive skate park, isn't it? I think, like, this whole place is just built for you having fun riding around on your bike. Oh, but look, they're all over the place. There's, look, there's loads of them. How many are there? Look, like, they're completely all over the place. Uh, let me break one. Oh, no, there's only four, it says, but... Um, yeah, they, they just kind of seem to all be in this area. Or maybe there's more, but I only need to break four of them. Right, this is where I break three of them really quickly, and then I spend ages trying to find where the last one is. <laughs> uh, I suppose I might as well go and uh, grab all of these, like, while I'm in the area. And I think that might be how you're supposed to get the ones in the air. I think you might uh, be supposed to, like, go really high off one of the, uh, the skate ramps. Uh, where's the other thing, then, by the way? Where's the... Where's the last crate? Oh, here it is. It's hiding down here. It's just quite dark. There we go. Mission complete. There we go. At least that was uh, pretty quick. I've not really tried grinding much either, actually. You've got to hold, um, hold both triggers down, but uh, it's pretty difficult to get the timing. Right, seeing as I did that so quick, I think I got time to do one more mission. So let's speak to this person. <laughs> and if he tells me to go and get some more crates, then I won't be happy. What? What? <laughs> I was like, look how many missions there are. Of course there is. It's because they're all the same. I don't even have to read what you've got to say. I know what the deal is. Someone put the crates here. I need to go and bang into them and get rid of them. At least they've got uh, arrows on top of them in this one. At least it shows me where they are. Right, I've got a little bit stuck here. <laughs> look, I'm stuck on like the, the little wall. There we go. I managed to, to get off it. Right, do I just have to go and just smash through them all again? Yep, no, just another four crates. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Blazing through these missions. Blazing through them. Right, one more to get. Oh no, I missed that one. Come on, tight turn. There we go, just about. It's really easy when you've got the uh, the massive arrows, you know. You don't really have to, to hunt for them. Oh, this one's going to be a bit awkward to get, though. I'm going to have to, if I turn around and get a bit of a run up, I'm going to have to go and try and jump up the ledge. Got it. Well done, me. Mission complete. And I got another spin for the uh, the toy vault as well to get uh, myself a new toy for the toy box. And we have just about run out of time in this uh, video, though. Uh, so my next video, I'm going to be carrying on uh, going around all of the fr uh, frat houses. Might uh, do a bit more decoration and, uh, yeah, just have a bit more fun riding around on my bike. Actually, I'm going to very quickly try and ride, uh, try and grind the rail if I can. Right, let's give it a go. Can I get it? I don't know why I can't grind. Like, you're supposed to hold left and right trigger together, but I could have just landed on it and didn't grind. Maybe I'm going to turn sidewards. There we go. Check that out. Woo! And the little point at the end. <laughs> what an exciting way to end the video. So hopefully you did enjoy it. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!